What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. I just got to give a shout out to all the support we were having lately on the channel, on my Instagram, on my social media, in the comments, the likes. Y'all are killing it for real, man. Thank you. We've all relished in the excitement of going to a house party. Whether you're watching the big game, maybe it's just having a couple drinks with friends, or you just show up to gain weight in the recliner. Whatever your choice, when you show up and you see the spread of food, more often than not, there's a big steaming plate of buffalo chicken dip right there. It's delicious. Don't get me wrong, but it's loaded with fat. Yeah, you get some protein but at what cost? Those chips you're dipping in, it ain't doing nothing for your waistline. And the amount of calories in that, you're gonna feel like you're leaving with a lead ball in your stomach. One of them old school balls they load into a cannon. But with this recipe, we're gonna change that. In today's video, we are making anabolic buffalo chicken dip. Loaded with shredded chicken, that creamy buffalo flavor you all love, with a hint of blue cheese and enough flavor to knock your socks off. In this video, you're not only gonna learn how to shred some chicken, you're gonna find a healthy alternative to tortilla chips. And if you take this recipe to your next house party, you're gonna be the one losing weight in the recliner, I guarantee it. As always, man, if you have the RGF recipe book, link in description, it's been updated. This recipe's now in there along with every other anabolic recipe. You get it one time, you get every future recipe updated for free. So when I'm dropping these videos at the rate I'm doing it, every time that happens, there's a new recipe in here, man. You invest in it now, it might just be the best investment you ever made, man, because this is the best diet in the world. If you agree with that, comment below. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! The first thing we're gonna need to do is get a food scale and get some chicken breast. So what we want is a 224 gram chicken breast. So I'm just gonna transfer this over to my food scale, weigh it out. And this chicken breast actually weighs 229 grams. So I only have to do a very minor amount of trimming here. I'm just gonna get that fat off, take a quick peek around the edges and just trim off anything I don't like. And all I'm gonna do now, season it with some salt and pepper. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and rub it all around it, underneath it. Don't be scared of the slimy chicken guys, it doesn't bite. Now we just gotta cook our chicken so we can shred it easily. What I got here is a pot with some water in it that I'm setting to a boil. I'm just gonna take my chicken and set it right down in here. And you want the water about an inch above the chicken so it'll cook how we want it. So I'm gonna add a little bit more in here to make sure we do that. And once the pot starts boiling, reduce the heat to low. And now we just let this cook anywhere from eight to 16 minutes. You just gotta keep an eye on it. And after about eight minutes, if you have a meat thermometer, you can pull her out, stab it. And if this thing reads 165 degrees, you're good. But if you don't got one of these, not a huge deal, man. You can just wait the full amount of time, pull it out, just white all the way through, you should be good. And boom, after about 10 minutes, our chicken breast is cooked. Let's just make sure she's done all the way. And there we go, guys, the perfect temperature. And once you've let the chicken breast cool for a couple minutes, we can literally go in and by hand, look at that, man, it just pulls right apart, start shredding it ourselves. And there's a method to do this with forks, but I've always been known to be pretty handsy. And once all your chicken is shredded, it should look like this. Now we're just gonna transfer our chicken to a large mixing bowl. Now we're gonna start adding the rest of the ingredients for our dip. First thing we need is 56 grams of fat-free chunky blue cheese, man. We're gonna add a nice little bit of flavor to this. Next up, we just need 120 grams of a buffalo sauce. Just make sure you read that label. I'm personally using Frank's Red Hot Buffalo because you can't go wrong with Frank. He ain't G, but it'll do. Next, we're just gonna add about 56 grams of fat-free cream cheese. Really thicken this up, add some protein, none of the calories. Now we're just gonna throw in about 85 grams of fat-free Greek yogurt. I don't know if you guys can tell, but we're really loading up on the protein with this one. Your girlfriend's gonna grow a beard just from smelling it good. Next up, we need 168 grams of fat-free shredded cheddar. If there's one thing we ain't scared of on this channel, it's fat-free products. And the last ingredient we need in here is eight grams from a powdered ranch packet. No calories in this guy, it's gonna add a ton of flavor. I personally use the spicy one, but use the regular, whatever you wanna do, man. Ain't no rules in here, other than using that food scale. So at this point, we have everything we need for a buffalo chicken dip in this bowl. Now we just gotta mix it. Get down in there and slowly start working it. And once you've given it a good mix in, it should all be the same color and look like this. 
All you need to do now is grab yourself a baking pan, hit it with some nonstick, and we're just gonna spoon our buffalo chicken dip right in here. Now just go in with your spoon and spread it all out. Similar to that cheesecake we just made, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm bleeding again. Darn it. And voila, people, that looks perfect. Now all we gotta do is throw this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. Throw her in, woo, da da timer! And while this is cooking, I'm gonna show you how to make some healthy chips right at home. Let's go. Just get a baking tray, line it with foil, hit it with some nonstick. Grab a flat bread of choice. I am personally using Joseph's lavish bread and sit it right down on here. Now just go in with a pizza cutter and cut this bad boy into some long strips. Take your strips, stack them on top of each other, create one long line, then go down each of them and make a bunch of little squares, bud. The more squares you make, the more chips you get, bud. Now just take all your squares, spread them all out, try not to let them touch, that way they all crisp up and have room to cook, man. Now all you gotta do is wait till there's about 12 minutes left for your buffalo dip and throw these in too. Whoop, easy. Typically 12 minutes is how long I cook mine for, but it depends on how crispy you want it, man. I like mine crispy. So in just a few short moments, this will be done and we're gonna get to feast, man. So I will see you guys here in about 12 minutes and we're gonna get it on, baby. We're gonna get it on. Let's go. And boom, our anabolic buffalo chicken dip is done. And look at this portion size, man, it's huge. And once I tell you the macros, you're not even gonna believe it. So let me get in here, I just wanna show you guys, oh, what that looks like. Are you seeing that, man? Look at that, oh my goodness. Jesus. It's creamy, it's delicious, it's the texture we want for sure. And the smell's coming off this thing, boy, woo! It'd make the hair on the back of the cat stand up. All right, guys, we've been staring at it long enough. I think it's time to sit down, pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. Alright guys, it's time to get the show on the road, man. I am so excited for this, it's not even funny. Hopefully the thumbnail turns out good. Uh, shooting buffalo chicken dip, I don't know if it captures the essence of what this really is. So smash that thumbs up for me if you made it this far, mean the world. Before we eat, we gotta keep that doctor away, man. One scoop of greens, final boss baby, straight to the dome. We're just gonna get it out the way. Mm. <coughs> this never gets easier, but neither does eating broccoli, so I'll take that. Available at FinalBossFormers.com, Amazon.com, free two-day shipping, code RJF10, all that good stuff you already know. I don't even know why I'm telling you. All right, let's get down to it, man. First off, check out these chips, bud. Look at that. You hear that clicking? How crispy it is? Crunchy? Way better than tortilla chips for you, man. Way more anabolic. Let's get down in here, get a little bit of our buffalo dip. And by the way, this amount right here of buffalo dip that I have is only half the recipe, man. So check it out. Bada bing, bada boom. You guys ready? Ready? Three, two, one. Spot on. Holy cow. I mean, it's been like years since I've had buffalo chicken dip, so maybe my memory's a little faulty. Spark plugs need changed, but man, this is exactly how I remember it. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, safe to say, we knocked her out of the park. In the flavor, you got like a hint of blue cheese. The hot sauce, it's not overpowering, but it's there. It's definitely buffalo. A little bit of ranch zest with all that cheddar cheese, bud. I mean, you can't really beat it. Oh. I'm telling you right now, man, if you brought this to a party and then you didn't tell anybody that it was the healthy version, they would eat it and have no idea. And that's the goal with these recipes, man. I'm trying to make it to where you could literally surprise someone with it and they'd think it was good. Because you know how people get, man. You tell them you brought the healthy version, they go into it with a preconceived notion. But if you surprise them with it and they just eat it, they're gonna be asking you for your recipe. And you can tell them they gotta buy the Cookbook. It is what it is, man. Oh. I'm telling you, man, once I break down these numbers for you, you're gonna be amazed. Check this out. In this entire recipe, if you're not counting the lavish flatbread, just the buffalo chicken dip by itself, you make the whole thing exactly how I did it. The entire dip ends up being only 605 calories, only one gram of fat, 112 grams of protein, 37 grams of carbs, zero grams of fiber. But 605 calories for an entire plate of buffalo chicken dip. If you check the calories on buffalo chicken dip, you order at a restaurant like TGI Fridays, man, that's like 1,800 to 2,000 calories, not counting the chips. And you don't get near as much protein, man. Look at that, bud. Home. Like I always preach, man, the key to a successful diet is being able to make foods like this at home.
home. When nothing's off limits, what can you really crave? If you can make an anabolic pizza, if you can make anabolic buffalo chicken dip for the game, if you can drink Mountain Dew Zeros, if you ain't scared of artificial sweeteners, if you can have what you want as long as you make the better choice, then what reason do you have to go out and act like a fool and do something that's gonna set your progress back for a week? I used to say not to eat for flavor and to eat for results, but now I say you can do both. You just gotta be willing to get in that kitchen and cook a little bit, bud. That's all there is to it. Go to the store, get the ingredients, make this yourself, and I promise it's gonna taste even better when you make it because you know you put the TLC into it, that tender love and care. Be proud of what you do, man. Be proud that when you make this and you eat it, you know that you're one step closer to your goal. You know that ashamed feeling we get when we go out and we cheat on our diets and we do something really goofy after having a good week? When you're sitting around the next day, you've gained like 10 pounds of water weight, you feel miserable, you slept like crap. You know that feeling? It comes no matter what. That temporary feeling you get as you're cheating where it feels good, that's only temporary. Do you wanna feel good long-term? Do stuff like this, man. Make these recipes, follow this diet. I'm telling you, man, if you do it this way and you make your own stuff, not only is it gonna fix your mental problem that you got with food that I had with food for years, but you're gonna feel amazing, you're gonna look amazing, and every day you're gonna wake up a little bit better. I guarantee it. As always, man, RJF recipe book, link in description. It's got every one of my recipes in there. Handy little guide, right in your pocket. Are you at the store and you don't know what to buy? You don't feel like pulling up the video, re-watching it, skipping ahead? Then just pull this bad boy out, check what you need, and make it happen, man. With this cookbook, you can make your own meal plan. I always say the only two things that matter are the amount of protein you eat in a day and the amount of calories. I cover all of that in the cookbook. And as long as you follow those two things, you can't lose, man. Link in description, check it out. I promise it might be uh, the best investment you've ever made. It's sure been the best thing I ever decided to do, hands down. And if all this is confusing and you'd like to have a meal plan laid out for you, super simple, I'll tell you what to eat, what to weigh out. I'll make it so stupid simple. All you gotta do is do it and you're gonna get results. Check out my site, RemingtonAceFitness.com. I can make you a meal plan. I'm a personal trainer. It's what I do for a living, man. All you gotta do is do it, take the action, cook the food, weigh it out, and you're gonna see results. I guarantee it. Appreciate you guys, as always, for watching. Smash thumbs up. Comment anything down below. What recipes do you wanna see? How cute slogan. Am I looking more anabolic? I don't care what you put down there, bud. Put something, it helps the algorithms, helps the channel, and I appreciate it. Subscribe if you are not subscribed, and until next time, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Oh God, I need one big dipper before we bounce. Oh. And make this, and tag me on Instagram, please. Do that for me.